Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, and that means Team of the Year midfielders look like they're coming out today. The attackers are going out of packs today at 6 p.m. UK. We've had them in packs for two days now. That would be Ronaldo, Mbappe, and Lewandowski. So I want to talk about what happens when we have Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne, and Joshua Kimmich coming into packs today on FIFA. Also, compile that with the Weekend League sell-off and squad battle rewards and we have a very interesting opportunity that for the market to be moving depending on the content that EA drops as well. And I want to just talk about EA's content throughout Team of the Year. I mean, it's been kind of a lackluster Team of the Year promo so far. And we talked about that a little bit in yesterday's video. Hopefully today we can see some cool content come out. So the cards that we're expecting today, right? We haven't had huge boosts for Lewandowski, Ronaldo, and uh, Mbappe all of those players have had boosts that were a little bit lackluster to what we normally see on Team of the Year cards. Supposedly today, from the rumors that are out there, the Bruno Fernandes card that we'll see today has the biggest boost out of all of them, and that would make sense, right? EA know they can really feed off that Bruno Fernandes hype, but even these ratings here, like if we take a look at this KDB, 84 pace and 75 defense, I really hope that that is not his card because if we take a look at Kevin De Bruyne's um, team of the year card from last year we'll take a look at this card and just kind of compare it really fast um this card last year was cracked right 88 pace 82 defense 99 passing 96 dribbling with 96 shot and 93 physical this prediction here has 94 shot 88 or 84 pace instead of 88 and 75 defense instead of 82 and then of course not even in the 90 on the physicals and this one had 93 so hopefully they do more stats like this uh, and hopefully that the, the attackers were like the only ones that really weren't juiced up. And I hope that EA goes all out with the rest of the team. But I honestly don't think that's going to be the case. I think we might still be a bit disappointed with some of the stats today on these Team of the Year cards. But nevertheless, there's going to be hype for Bruno. There's going to be hype for Kimmich because both of those cards have never, both those players have never had Team of the Year. So I'm very curious to see how the market reacts, especially how the market reacts with weekend league sell-off on top of this happening. Now, right now, all the team of the years are up in price a bit. Ronaldo, not so much, but Mbappe, 7.1 million coins. He was 6.6 .6 earlier, 6.4 uh, on Friday at his lowest. Lewandowski was 2.8. He's now back up to 3.1. I expect all three of the team of the years today to be dropping into 6 p.m. UK. Let's not forget about the massive amount of supply that we saw on these guys on Friday, right? If you guys remember, I've mentioned it in, in yesterday's video, 38 pages of Lewandowski team of the year on the market. 38 pages on Friday. Right now, I think we only have like four or five. Yes, the market is a little bit quieter. Wow, we only have four. Three, three full pages and, and then, you know, two cards on the fourth page. So, a lot of the supply has dried up because people are using this card in their team and whatnot. So I would expect the supply to pick back up. And I think all of those cards that are in packs right now, the attackers are a bit overpriced. So I would expect those to drop today. Now, we did not have any lightning rounds yesterday on Saturday, which was crazy, right? Because we thought EA was going to drop lightning rounds for the second day that attackers would be in packs. And for whatever reason, they did not. Now, I would almost 100% guarantee that we have lightning rounds today with the midfielders coming into packs. The only thing that might be different is uh, probably not as many saved up packs are going to be open, right? We saw a lot of that supply for Ronaldo, Lewa, and Mbappe happening on Friday because saved up packs were probably opened. I don't think you'll see as many today. Probably some, but not as many. I think just a lot of people are going to want to try to go out and buy uh, Bruno Fernandes and get him in game and try him out. So that's one thing I'm very curious to see the fluctuations on those team of the year cards when they do come out today uh, to see what the pack would is like and all that. But for the rest of the market, because I know a lot of you guys aren't looking to try out those new cards. Some of you guys may be, but a lot of you aren't. A lot of these cards are, you know, they're starting to come back down a little bit from how high they were, right? Mbappe is back under 900K. Neymar is back under 700,000 coins. You know, Neymar is coming back into packs tomorrow. Or sorry, Mbappe is coming back into packs. He's going to get supplied a little bit. Now, is this a reason to sell? Not necessarily. He's going to go back out of packs later in the week again when people are going to want to buy him for weekend league. So I really want to watch the sell-off on some of these golds, especially the golds that were in packs, right? Conte went from 185 all the way to 210. He's back down to 199. This Rashford heading heading into Friday. This is a, a really interesting one. 
Friday, Rashford was 79,000 coins before PAX went to 64, rebounded back to 67, 69,000 coins, back down to 58, and he's dropping even further right now just with all the lightning rounds and saved up packs supply. Now, I want to watch some of the out-of-pack special cards today, too, as they come into the 6 p.m. time frame. Gomez, right? This guy was over 600K. He's 575. Renato's down a little bit. St. Maximin is down a little bit. You know, take a look around the special card market, and yes, you're still going to have cards that are very high, but the reason I want you to watch on Weekend League Sellout today is um, I'm just not entirely sure What's going to make people sell off on this market today? I would love to, to sit here and tell you that, hey, I'm expecting a weekend league sell-off. Get ready. You're going to see some prices drop because it's out of weekend league. It's team of the year. And we were expecting a little bit of that before. But the one thing I didn't expect is just the lack of content from EA. We have not had much content so far. Good content, right? We had Suarez. Okay. 83 double ta attackers pack yesterday dropping at a weird time again if we don't get any content or SBC specifically today at 6 p.m uk definitely wait until 7 30 p.m uk because two days in a row now we have had the ribbery SBC and the double 83 attacker pack from yesterday they dropped an hour and a half after the normal content drop so i would keep an eye out for any if there's no SBC that drops right at 6 p.m i don't know what ea is doing um, but it's been two days now in a row and I'm honestly not a huge fan of it, but it is what it is. And we'll see if we have that happen again today on this game. Now, of course, people are saying, yo, we had an attacker that came out as an SBC on Friday when the attackers came into packs. So today there's a lot of rumors floating around that we might see a midfielder flashback or player moments card. That could be either Conte, that could be Kevin, uh, or not Kevin De Bruyne, but Frankie De Young from years past. People have thrown around on uh, Angel Di Maria as a possible card that could get a throwback, throwback to his FIFA 15 team of the year card. So a lot of options, maybe even like Iniesta, right? We had an Iniesta last year during team of the year. I think we'll get another SBC player today. I think it just makes sense. And I'm curious to see what that does for the fodder market, right? If they dropped like a, a Conte SBC today, they really juiced them up. And yes, they'll make them expensive probably, but even if it's 1.5 mil, think about a 1.5 million coin Conte and how much hype he has based on a 3 million coin Bruno Fernandez team of year card that's just coming into packs. So that to me, people might you know, people might really go out and do an SBC today because, again, EA can overprice SBCs a bit because they know people have coins and they have the fodder in their clubs from opening a lot of packs. They've opened those packs. They have cards in their club, fodder. And so now EA is going to overprice SBCs to make you want to get out of those uh, on get those cards out of your club and to rinse coins out of your club. They're going to start that process. One thing that we also could see today, because usually when we have normal promos, we see um, we see upgrade packs dropping on Sundays or Mondays. So I would not be too surprised if we saw upgrade packs today, because that's their normal day when EA drops those. So if you do see upgrade packs, I mean, I don't think I'd be super duper surprised. I guess it could happen. Um, I'm not 100% expecting it, but I guess it could happen for sure uh, that we see upgrade packs today. It's just a maybe in my opinion. Um, but the one thing I really want to focus on is just um, the market and the sell-off as a whole, right? The sell-off as a whole today, like again, I mentioned how much sell-off is going to be there because people are going to see and want to interact with content that comes out throughout this week. Although we have not had much content yet, EA could completely turn it around. If there's no hype today for midfielders, I don't think you really see too much more of a sell-off. I mean, you'll see some, of course. Yes, you will. Uh, gold cards more than probably out-of-pack specials. But a lot of people are going to say, hey, there's not really a lot going on right now in FIFA. So why do I... Ooh, 1.04. I think my Alberto is listed at 105. Um, if there's not a lot going on and there's nothing that they need to sell their, their cards for, what's going to make people sell today? They're probably just going to hold on to their cards they bought for their teams that have gone up a lot in price like we've looked at. So if you do see panic selling today or panic selling or just a drop in price around the general weekend league sell-off, that's going to be an opportunity to get involved in some stuff, I think. Uh, if you do see meta cards that drop that were very high this weekend, even a guy like Messi, right? Messi's team of the group stage card has been very high this entire weekend since he didn't get a team of the year. He was 1.4 flat kind of all of this last week. Friday morning, he was 1.3s, right? And all after since not getting a team of the year, he's been between 1.5 and 1.5 high. So if I saw this dude 
like in the one four lows on the PlayStation or in the one twos, low to mid one twos on the Xbox, I'd probably get interested, right? Other cards, team the group stage De Bruyne. If De Bruyne does have a pretty cracked out card today and you see this guy back down at like 410K, he was 450, 460 at his absolute highest some of the, the weekend this weekend, right? 477 even on the PlayStation. So watch out for, again, weekendly sell-off on the Bruno cards because Bruno is so hyped right now in this game. Of course, he does have the player of the month, but I really like watching his informs. These guys, this guy was 570K. This first inform was almost 500,000 coins came coming up from 440. So definitely watch the sell-off even on the headliner Bruno. Headliner Bruno is going to be an interesting one to watch today depending on what the team of the year is priced at. You might see some people panic selling this because I'm pretty sure Friday morning this guy was like 175. Yeah, 175 and then he rebounded to 19. So if it's an expensive Bruno player of the month today, you might not see much panic on this. Uh, but if Bruno is dropping and he's very supplied, then maybe you'll see this card drop as well. So definitely keep an eye on that. Other areas of the market that we can get interested in, right? I want to take a look at Team of the Week 17 because as you guys know, I've been kind of watching Ndombele, Pogba, and Ben Yedder. Those are the, the three major ones, Insigne as well, that I would keep an eye on um, today because it's, it's Sunday, right? We're going to have more lightning rounds, more packs opened. And, you know, after this, people started thinking about investing in the team of the week. And um, I traded yesterday from Friday night into Saturday. I bought 20 Ndombele's at 30 to 31,000 coins and sold all of them for um, anywhere between 37 and a couple of them were at 40K. So fluctuations on these cards is definitely possible. And I honestly think, right, this is how I'm viewing these cards right now. Yes, they're very supplied. They're gonna get packed more today. Um, I think you will see some people sell these cards and other cards that are in packs like golds, right? Like like maybe uh, Mbappe, because he's coming back into packs, Neymar, possibly Cristiano Ronaldo, gold cards. You might see a bit of panic selling right before lightning rounds because people are gonna be told to sell those before they get supplied more and put back in packs. Same thing might happen with these team of the weeks, right? Ben Yetter was 430K on Friday during lightning rounds at his kind of lowest. He bounced back a little bit to like 460s and he's been kind of chilling there, but now he's kind of coming back down in price. I think this Ben Yetter inform is underpriced. I do. I think he's too cheap, right? Because take a look at this. 86 Ben Yetter is 270, 280,000 coins. I would be expecting this 87 Yetter to be around 500K which is just a little bit less than double what this Yetter is. Same thing with Pogba, right? Pogba's first inform is literally 100,000 coins. He was just 400,000 coins. He's now 388. But this, there's a 100,000 coin difference between 88 Pogba and 87. I know the stats aren't that big of a difference, but um, I think this Pogba should be somewhere around the 600K range if there was not a huge promo and a lot of extra pack supply. So, you know, if, if these guys drop today, right, if we're looking at Insigne, Yetter, Pogba, and Ndombele, if you're seeing another 10% drop on these guys' prices, then maybe even like 7 to 10% drop, then I'm getting really interested because then it's the, we're out of the weekend. These guys are only in packs until Wednesday. Uh, and on Tuesday, we'll have the defenders in packs. Um, so definitely keep an eye on these cards because I do think they will bounce back. Pogba and Yetter especially because they're very over, very um, hyped up and usable cards in this game. And Dombele too for some from uh, more of a cheaper budget type um, option. So keep an eye on those. Also with the weekend league sell off and a lot of special cards, make sure you keep an eye on a lot of the a lot of informs that link to objective cards, aka Suarez, right? Carrasco, Llorente, those informs and those record breaker items or rule breaker, Llorente specifically, um, Jimenez, uh, the um, other rule breaker card. Keep an eye on these because I think these are going to be cards that you'll see do very well after the weekend league sell off is over because. Um, a lot of people, I think, are doing Suarez. Now, a lot of people are doing him for the SBC fodder standpoint, but these cards were very high, um, and they had an extra incentive to be bought up with the links to Suarez. So, you know, I think they could do very well if you see some panic selling on those today. Another area to watch in the panic selling on the out-of-pack special cards is your Bayern Munich players, right? David Alaba, uh, right now, we were talking about this on stream today, 
This guy's like 550K. Well, he's not right now, but he was 580,000 coins. He's very rare. I watched one of these expire today for 536 with no bid, right? Watch the bids on Alaba and Goretzka because I think they could be cards that bounce back. Once we start having these Bayern Munich players, especially with Davies, especially with Kimmich uh, and Neuer coming into packs in the next couple of days, definitely keep an eye on those. That those, uh, especially the, the Goretzka and the Alaba, Goretzka and Alaba, uh, could be decent buys for flips. Icons as well, right? Baby icons that get sold today, they're going to fluctuate a ton. That's why you see me with this um, this Al Carlos Alberto card right now. He was 975,000 coins when I got him. Uh, he's been selling around the 1.0. He was selling at 1.1 mil earlier today. Yes, he is out of packs. He's very rare. That's why I like trading with these baby icons. Sell off today on these. Going to be a big watch as well. And then headliners, right? We had a couple of headliners um, have some action today or yesterday. Uh, ben Yedder headliner was 1.3 million coins when they were losing 1-0 against Marseille. The dude has now rebounded since back over to like 1.5 mil. He was down after the game to 1-4 flat. And we were talking about this on stream that what happens is the people that are just trying to take the cash from their investment, they cash out, drives the card down. He's back up about 80K. So watch that card for a rise into the team of the week this week on Wednesday because that's when he's going to get upgraded. Same thing with Mares. He'll get upgraded then as well. And then Benzema, man. I have a Benzema on my transfer list that I bought when he scored his first goal today. And um, he is actually down right now. So he was 169 when he scored. He went up to about 190, and now he's at 180. And it's looking like Benzema could get the inform. If he would, this card would become a lot more desirable because of the 80 pace threshold that he would get with that. And that would make his card look a lot better, and people would probably want to go out and try it more than they would right now with 79 pace. So just keep an eye on Benz because 4-star, four 4-star, four Real Madrid, Sp um, not Spanish, but Spanish League, French links. Could be something interesting to watch today too. SBC fodder with the packs should be dropping down. Um, and then today will be a good a good day as well. I think you're going to see a lot of people start investing in rares. Uh, those cards have been kind of cheap, right? If we take a look at gold rares from, let's say, the Premier League. Um, these cards have been going on bid for like seven. They were going for 650, 700. Looks like they still are, man. Maybe 750 for a few of them. But if you want to stock gold rares... Today is going to be a great day to continue doing that because I expect these guys to get bought up, um, especially do that before 6 p.m. just in case we do have upgrade SBCs come out today uh, because people will start getting involved with those. Even though there's only a few cards and packs, I think they will um, get involved with those. So this might be one of the most interesting Sundays that we have on FIFA um, because we have new Team of the Year cards coming out today. So hopefully EA... Uh, just freaking gets their act together for team of the year and gives us some good content today on FIFA 20 on a Sunday. So there are going to be opportunities to make coins with the market going down. Don't be afraid to buy stuff if the content is not very hype. And um, of course, watch out for that delayed SBC release uh, today when they drop the content at 6 p.m. and maybe you don't see anything. Watch out for that 7.30 p.m. SBC release. But this market is healthy, right? This market is healthy. It has a lot of coins, icons, out-of-pack specials. They're going to be great cards to flip and to trade with, um, especially headed out of this weekend league into a week of Team of the Year. So we're, we're going to probably learn some more information on the time frame of Team of the Year as well, hopefully, this week. One last thing I wanted to note. Tuesday. Tuesday, we're supposed to be getting the 12th man of Team of the Year revealed. That is Tuesday when the defenders would come into packs. I don't know if that 12th man is going to have a vote. I think the latest they can put out a vote for the 12th man would be today because that would mean a player pick would come out or something. They give you a loan item for whoever's in the vote. That might be something we see today or they just chose the 12th man themselves and there's not going to be a vote. So that would be very interesting as well. But Tuesday, we are going to figure out who that 12th man is. Um, that's going to be on a Twitch live stream, Twitch Rivals uh, competition. So we'll be looking out for that as well. But if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I know it's kind of a crazy Sunday. Should be a fun one, though. Hopefully, you give us some good content. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.